So Angel asks me, you know, how many times did you get shit on before um, it became one of the reasons you stepped to the next level of confidence to be able to conquer with ease? Well, first of all, it's not easy. And it continues to get harder for me because every time I step to it, and same with you, every time you step to a new level, it's going to get harder because new levels, new devils, as they say. There's new things that you have to conquer and what makes things hard to conquer is not knowing anything about it. Like when I moved to California, I knew nothing about this state. I knew, I didn't know the buses, the trains. I knew no people, not like I knew nothing. So that was hard. And, but now, not that I know everything completely, but I'm a lot better at knowing the streets of California, right? So new levels, new devils. And also, uh, people. People shit on me constantly, and that's why I feel like, oh, I don't need to talk to everybody. I don't owe everybody. Um, I know I'm going to get rejected, so it doesn't stop me from trying. But at the same time, when it happens, especially when it, when I spend a lot of time with someone and I actually believe they're a friend of mine or a business partner or whatever, and when I spend a lot of time with the person and they shit on me, it's like, oh, you know what I mean? I don't regret trying. Um, I kind of feel bad for the person because it's like, wow, I misjudged you. I actually thought you were a good person. I thought you cared about me. I thought you cared about your business. But it turns out you're just, you know, an addict or what, whatever the situation may be. So, you know, I'm never going to be immune to it because I'm a human. Other people seem to act like they're immune to it, but I tend to think it's the complete opposite. And they hate rejection so much it's they, they hate rejection so much that they refuse to even try. And then when they do get close to someone and they find an amazing person like me, they don't feel good enough, so they tend to ignore me, which makes perfect sense because I've actually done it before to other people. Like, I'll just ignore someone and not talk to them. Uh, usually, I won't even begin a relationship but when I, when I think someone's too good for me. But then when I do get to know somebody... And I do think, oh my God, they are really a good person. I'm really glad that I met them. But then I become fearful, like, oh my gosh, maybe I won't be able to um, uh, deliver enough value for them or something, right? Uh, I won't be able to keep up with this responsibility. But in reality, like I said, most people are not accountable as I am. They don't have the values and the integrity that I do. So most of the time people leave me and I'm just used to it because people come back, new people come.